For decades, he was one of the key voices behind the fight for immigration reform. Well, today, he's retired from public office, but with his eye on the 2024 presidential race. Former Congressman Luis Gutierrez is back in Chicago, and WGN's Lourdes Duarte, Duarte sat down with him as he maps out his future five years after leaving Congress. Well, when he announced his retirement, people couldn't understand why. Some speculated he would run for office in Puerto Rico or a political scandal was brewing. None of that seemed to materialize, though. Now, five years later, he's back and says he's ready to spend the rest of his life right here in Illinois. These sidewalks are vaulted, which means they're very expensive to replace. Three decades after he was first elected to Congress, Luis Gutierrez walks Chicago's Puerto Rican neighborhood with fond memories of his time in office. Couldn't do the palm trees, but uh, we did use some of those, those things, banners, we put palm trees on them. The last five years gave him the break he wanted. I tell everybody, Luis Gutierrez is not on the beach reading a novel. Voters along Division Street seem to have stuck by him. Hola. Hola. Yo estoy bien, gracias, ¿y tú? The former congressman has now made the choice to return permanently to Chicago. He's well rested, but says he's battling a condition that impacts everyday tasks. My vision is enough that I see you. I can play with my two-year-old grandson. And fortunately, science is advancing. There is no cure for macular degeneration, it just isn't, and I have advanced. So I just got my second set of shots. He has a difficult time reading. No problem, though, keeping up on politics. It tells me why I need to re-engage, why I need to re-engage not only at the national level, but also at the local level. Because what do you mean by that? I really fear for the future of the city of Chicago. He's referring to crime in the city and is calling for a restructuring of the Chicago Police Department, making safety a priority for Chicagoans. His role in making all of that happen, though, wasn't so clear. Lourdes, I just can't rest. I have to re-engage. So I... why not run for office again? Well, I, look, Are you people encouraging people, if you walked in my shoes, Here's what people say to me every day. What happened? Your office was like immediate care, Gutierrez. I had a problem, I showed up. Now the politicians tell me to go online. He didn't necessarily rule out a run, but he did lay out his plan for the next few months. Re-engaging, as he called it, with an organization known as CASA, an immigration group with 150,000 members. On October 15th, he'll travel to Puerto Rico to build momentum among young people on the island, and he hopes to play a supporting role in the upcoming presidential election. Making sure that Maryland, Virginia, Georgia, and Pennsylvania ring blue in November of 2024. <laughs> That's my priority. He's also weighing in on the current migrant situation in Chicago after nearly 14,000 people arrived here in the last year. He says the Biden administration needs to do more to address immigration reform for all. Let's welcome the new ones, but let's not forget about the ones that have been here 25, 30 years, making Chicago what it is. He calls it constructive criticism from someone whose vision may have taken a hit, but whose focus is still clear. And Gutierrez turned 70 in December and says other than his vision, he is in good health. Right now he's in the process of scheduling meetings with elected officials on a local and national level, hoping to continue his work on immigration reform. I'm Lourdes